Hi, this is Chris with Stupid Raisins, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to add holiday elements in Final Cut Pro. Pour some hot cocoa, throw on a Snuggie, we're about to edit with some holiday spirit. I'm gonna share with you how to customize built-in titles to match a winter holiday theme, and then we're gonna take a look at adding a snow overlay to your footage to create a dynamic effect. Let's check that out. Okay, so we're here in Final Cut Pro, now this program does not have a ton of holiday specific effects and titles and all of that. So you gotta dig a little deeper and that's what we're gonna do today. Uh, first thing we're gonna look at is some titles. So what we're gonna do first, we got a nice winter holiday background here. This video, we're gonna cover this with a title. So we're gonna search in lower thirds and we're gonna come down here to nature all right so we're going to check out a few of these let's go ahead and drag down the first one called bug and let's see what happens here when we play that back all right so it has little like hexagon shapes that are moving out of there now let's see what we can do if we dive into the inspector so let's close down the browser open the inspector make sure we're in the title inspector we can change whether we want it to build in or out but the main thing I want to look at is these color themes. Go with rose, maple, chocolate, ocean. But the main one we're looking for is snow. And then the shapes, we can also change these shapes. We can either have uh, no shapes, some petals, leaves. We can also do rings, but the one I'm looking for is snowflake. So let's see what effect we have now. Hey, hey, look at that. Let's go ahead and just throw in a title, Winter. All right, that font's pretty fun. Looks kind of like one of those classic uh, Frosty the Snowman cartoons. Nice. All right, we do have some other options where we can select text or we can do a text cutout. We can also do a media well. All right, so we can click on this drop zone and select a clip. This holiday clip here. Let's close that down. It'll appear right inside of the, that graphic. We can grab some more of these. We can actually create some similar effects with these. So we're gonna take it, change it to snow and snowflake as well. Let's look at this next one, which is called right. And again, just go up here to the snow and snowflake. There's one last one here, which is called upper. Very nice. We got ourselves some holiday text. Tis the season to let you know that we share new videos like this all the time to help with your Final Cut Pro projects. Subscribe to our channel and hit the bell so you can get notified when we release our next video. All right, the next thing we have here is a title that is close to a holiday title. It just needs a few tweaks and we're fully there. So let's go ahead and look this up. We're gonna go to the browser, come on over here to the titles and we're looking under lower thirds for bulletin board, and we're gonna drag in this one called left. All right, let's close up that browser and take a look here at the effect that this title gives us. Very nice. So we're going for a letters to Santa kind of vibe. So we got this stamp in the corner and it doesn't really feel like it, it, it goes with the holiday theme. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this transform tool here we're gonna just drag this title over. That way this stamp right here is appearing off the screen, but we still have our title that we can work with. So we'll go ahead and say done, play this back and yep, still working for us. All right, now let's dive into the inspector, go over to the text inspector and we're gonna type in Dear Santa. Here back at the color, we can change the color here. Find something that's a little more festive. There we go. Now, this is great. And it, is, it has the vibe of, of the holiday and all that. It would just be great if we can make this blue green. So we're gonna go ahead and come up here to the color board. While we have this title selected, we're going to click on the corrections here. Click on hue, saturation, and curves. 
And then we're gonna come in here to hue versus hue and click on the dropper. And we're gonna find that spot that we wanna change. So we got that color ready to change. We're gonna grab this middle spot here, pull up the greens. Ooh, look at that. We changed that blue color within that title to a nice holiday green. All right, on this last example, what I wanna do is add a little bit of snow to this scene here. So the way we do that is go online, search for snow over a black background, something like this. And we're gonna go ahead and drag this on top of our clip, resize it. Let's close that browser, give us some room to work. And then we're gonna come up here to the inspector, make sure we're on the video inspector and under compositing, find the blend mode and we're gonna select screen. What that does is that takes out all the black and allows everything behind it to come through. So we just created an overlay for this clip. Now you'll see as it's moving, it's kind of, it, it feels like the snowflakes are attached to the screen and it's moving with the, with the, with the camera. But that's not what snow would be doing naturally. So we're gonna go ahead and delete this, then go back to that spot. So you wanna make sure you're up to date on your Final Cut Pro version and that you have the motion tracker installed because when we click and drag over the image, we can actually find a spot on here, like say this rock here. We can click analyze. So this built-in motion tracker will allow us to track this snow overlay to move with the landscape instead of moving with the camera itself. So you'll see uh, tracking it to that kind of goofed up where the overlay is sitting. So let's go ahead and move this over, maybe scale it in just a little bit because it'll be moving. Then we're gonna click on the blend mode, go to screen, and let's check out the effect. Let's line this up right. All right, let's take a look at what we did. Now there's one more thing that we can do. We can go ahead and hold option and drag up a second clip. We're gonna select this top layer and we're gonna scale it up even more. And then we're gonna drop the opacity down a little bit. In fact, we can do that to the other one too, just not as much. And so what we've essentially created is a little bit of depth. So we've got regular snowfall between us and that wolf. And then we also have snowfall that's that would be right up close to the camera with a little bit of a blur to it. In fact, let's also add the effect of a blur. We'll just put the Gaussian blur on it and turn it down a bit. All right, that looks really great. So we created a, a sort of a three dimensional effect. By blurring and scaling up one of the snow overlays, we allowed it to, to make it feel like that snow is right up against the camera. All right, so we took a look at how to customize some titles in Final Cut Pro to work for the holidays, and then also how we can add some snow to some footage to make it a little more dynamic. And with that, we've reached the end. Thanks for tagging along. yippee ki -yay, awesome editors. Yes, it counts as a holiday movie. Now that you've learned how to add holiday elements in Final Cut Pro, I've made another video about how to do motion tracking in Final Cut Pro. Click here to check it out.